YTBC, what's the deal? So I was just on BoxingScene.com, and I saw an article, uh, Eddie Hearn and those guys were, today they were going to announce Anthony Joshua's opponent, April 9th. They haven't came to a conclusion yet because they are still negotiating with Charles Martin, the IBF uh, titleist right now. So, you know, it's funny, and I'm not even going to go into uh, if I think Anthony Joshua's a prospect or a contender. I've been down that road a million times. If you want to know my opinion, I have countless videos talking about it. I'm not. I'm just going by what are facts, and I'm just going by the rankings. So whether you think he deserves the high rating or not, that's your opinion. We're just going by what's factually um What's factual by the IBF and the WBA and the WBC having uh, Anthony Joshua rated pretty high. I think he's one in or he's in the top two in all of those three. But they're negotiating with uh, the IBF champ Charles Martin. Now, Eddie Hearn went on to say that he does have three or four other options. Martin is not the only option. And he referenced back to some comments that Martin has made about calling Joshua out. He said that, yes, you did call. And I'm paraphrasing it. This isn't verbatim. He pretty much went on to say, yes, you did call me and, you know, you did call us and try to get a fight, but you wanted a numerable amount of money. We didn't take you serious. So negotiations are still going on. He was they were set to make announcements today. So those um, those announcements got delayed. So hopefully they're in some good negotiations with Martin, you know, and I I have went on to say that I don't think Joshua is ready for world level yet because he said he's not. And if he doesn't have uh, confidence, how in the hell I'm going to have confidence that he is. But with that said, I don't consider Charles Martin. I don't consider Charles Martin world level. I just think him and Glasgow got lucky fighting for a vacant title. Either one of those guys were not championship. Uh, they shouldn't have been in the championship level fight. Not at this point in their careers. So with this IBF strap, I look at it like it's the paper title anyways. You know, so I kind of changed my position on this. Let Joshua fight uh, Martin. Let them do whatever they want with that. Let any I don't care who gets the title shot for that IBF title. It doesn't mean anything until that winner fights the Fury Vladimir winner or at the very least Deontay Wilder or whoever's going to keep that WBC title or something. But right now, Joshua versus Martin for the IBF, fine. I'm fine with it. You know, um... Because, again, I don't think Charles Martin is world level either. I don't I don't think he's a champion right now as far as Fury's a champion to me. You know what I mean? And then, if anything, the next person I, I, I would say is Deontay Wilder having the WBC. But the facts are he is the IBF champion, Charles Martin. So a fight with him and uh, Joshua, I'll, I'll, I'll watch it. You know, So Eddie Hearns, like I said, they're still in negotiation. I will leave the... Uh, the link to this article in the description box you can go to it you can read it you can come to your own you know sur surmise you can come to your own speculations and theorize for yourself about what do you think is going to happen and what's going to take place i would like to see the fight um martin and joshua be out in the uk i think it'd be a huge fight and to tell you the truth joshua has a chance of sparking them out you know what i mean i really think he does now Martin is a big southpaw, you know, um, I don't think he's the best southpaw around, or, or I know Ortiz, and I'll probably favor Chigaya if you know from right now, but he's a good southpaw, um, good power, you know, but he doesn't seem all, you know, doesn't move his head as well, um, he seems like he is there to be hit, he is there to, um, you know, have some exchanges with you, maybe in the middle of an exchange, Joshua gets the better of him but Joshua showed that his head doesn't move all that well either he stands pretty straight up very tall and muscular um but his pedigree looks a little bit sharper now Martin you know he entered that American heavyweight camp out there in Carson California with Dominic Brazil and a few other guys so you know they that um American heavyweight program has turned out some decent heavyweights you know Brazil and Martin so I know Brazil went to the Olympics and Martin has the IBF strap so they've that camp has done its justice as far as getting some guys out there and getting them noticed and um, making some things happen, amateur and professional thus far. But with Martin, though, him fighting Parker, or not Parker, but uh, Joshua, if that goes down, I'm fine with it. And speaking of Parker, he is highly rated by the IBF. Um, I think the last time I looked at the rankings, I believe was Erkin Tepper, Anthony Joshua, Carlos to come and then uh, Joseph Parker in that order as far as the rankings in the IBF WBO I know Parker and Joshua are one and two 
you know, and um, and the other bodies, I believe uh, Parker's rank. I don't have the rankings in front of me, but these guys seem like they're on the collision course, Parker and Joshua. But as far as Martin and Joshua, I'm just getting this out there, just giving you some quotes from Eddie Hearn, and he's saying that these negotiations are still underway, and they have three or four of the guys. Hopefully, out of these guys, Martin, David Hay, I even like Huey Fury, you know what I mean? But uh, I hope Martin and Hay are at least in the running to fight Joshua. Um, I know Joshua said himself that he would like a Dillian White rematch, but this was after the fight. Maybe he was a prisoner of the moment. You know, at that point, I think he was probably still a little bit salty from getting caught in that second round. Um, but what do y'all think about this? Charles Martin versus... Um, Anthony Joshua. And if Joshua goes on to win this IBF strap, I mean, Erkin Tepper's going to be out, I believe, they said for two years. I think that's still up for debate. They're still seeing where that's at. Last time I checked, he was out for two years with the drug test. And then uh, Carlos Takama would be a good fight. You know, um, Glasskoff is out right now, but Cunningham, you have Andy Ruiz Jr., uh, Bermain Stavern, Kilbrat Pulov, Robert Hellenius, who's getting ready to fight, Johan uh, Duhapa, Derek Chisora. Um, Dominic Brazil is rated by the IBF. Alexander Ustinov was also rated by the WBA. So, I mean, it's not like his murderer's role, you know what I mean, if he wins this IBF, but there is some solid competition there. And uh, at this heavyweight division, I mean, anything can happen. But Joshua packs a big punch, man. That's one thing I can say. And I know a lot of people get on his resume and he hasn't fought anybody. I mean, he's 15-0, and 0, you know, for 15-0 and 0 fighter. All by knockout, you know, he took Dillian White's O, who was an up-and-coming prospect, a still, still a guy who's, I think, a, a viable and formidable type of um, prospect right now. Gary Cornish, who was 21-0, got sparked out fast in that fight, but he was 21-0, a prospect, a guy I was keeping an eye on just to see what he could do. And then he was the first guy to knock out uh, Kevin Johnson, Kingpin, although old Kingpin. But, I mean, that streak of wins is pretty decent for a 15-0 fighter. You know, and he's beat the Zambanu Loves and the Jason Gavers. But what do y'all think about this? Eddie Hearn saying that uh, negotiations with Charles Martin are still ongoing. Do you think the fight will happen? Who would you want to see Anthony Joshua fight? Do you want to see him be champion this early? Do you think he's ready to grab that IBF and go against the guys I named in the IBF? Or do you think he needs a little bit more time to get seasoned? Or should he do what Charles Martin is doing and try to get seasoned while you have the title? I mean, Deontay Wilder, to some degree, they're doing the same thing, in my opinion. Just my opinion, though. YTBC, I'm out.